Hi guys, Don Rice here, and uh, there's been some discussion over on rcscalebuilder.com concerning my uh, fuel tank mounting system. And uh, so, for those of you out in the YouTube world, I thought I would first show it. This is a 32 ounce um, gas tank, and I made um, this frame for it uh, to hold it. It all kind of friction fits in here, and there'll be one piece of Velcro that holds it all together. Uh, anyway, this is all made out of um, some composites that I made up. The, this is, uh, I made these plates that were one foot by two foot long, and they have eighth inch end grain balsa separating uh, the, the carbon. And each side has uh, one layer of unidirectional carbon running this way and another layer of unidirectional carbon running this way. And then the same thing on the back side. And so you laminate up a great big piece of that and then you cut it up into little parts like this. And it makes for an extremely stiff assembly. This entire assembly that you see here weighs 44 grams. And it was designed to, with the intention of suspending my 32 ounce gas tank uh, essentially in midair uh, in the middle of my fuselage. So. You can see these uh, wooden bosses. All right, so these are basswood, basswood bosses that have 632, um, 632 brass threaded inserts high sawed into them, and eventually I'll get around to sinking some wood screws in from the outside of the fuselage through the fiberglass and into the basswood and then I'll encapsulate them with a little bit of a, a fiberglass cloth but um, oh crap hang on where is it in order to put this whole thing together. Um, I should zoom out. So this thing goes in something like that. Uh, it won't go in and make and make the turn. So I couldn't make the whole thing as one piece, which would have been, you know, sweet. But all I got to do is uh, remove one screw Can rotate that a little bit, and then this thing will rotate right into place, and it sits right there. And so that's the idea for the fuel tank. And I had to kind of suspend it because of the stuff that's going on in there down at the the bottom. Well very top of the fuselage, way down at the bottom of the picture here, is uh, where the Fragelli actuator goes to operate um, the sliding canopy thing here. So the tank has to go somewhere other than that, so I suspended it above all of that activity and ultimately um, the question is, does the does this fuel tank holder frame design, does it actually, is it actually strong enough uh, to do the job? So uh, figuring that this is a, a scale airplane um, being flown in a scale manner, you know, it's probably going to be seeing something like 5Gs, um, but we all know that sometimes we get a little heavy on our 
with our thumbs. So maybe this airplane sees 10 G's. And so with a 32 ounce gas tank, like that one, figure it weighs about two pounds, probably a little less because fuel is lighter than water, but uh, figure about two pounds. 10 G's means that this whole mess has to be able to hold 20 G's. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I can't think and talk and do this stuff at the same time. So, uh, all right. 10 G's, two pounds, 20 pounds. The question is, can this assembly hold 20 pounds? And this is essentially, this is the upright configuration for the fuel tank when the Corsair is upright. Uh, the Corsair will never see 10 G's inverted. Uh, at least mine won't. And so I've got a couple of these um, sanding blocks lined up and the bolt holes are aligned specifically with um, those. I'm going to lower. Hang on. Okay, so I changed the uh, the angle here so we can actually look under here and we can see the deflection. So with 20 pounds of weight added here, the idea is that, you know, this, this tank assembly will weigh 20 pounds um, in a 10 G turn and a very full tank of gas. So um, I don't actually have a 20 pound bag or a 20 pound weight. What I have is a 25 pound bag of number eight shot, which I think adds up to 12 and a half G's. So, all right, we will put it right there. Okay, so that's more or less hands off. And, um, I don't know, how much deflection was there? Hard to say, huh? All right, so here, we'll take it off. All right, so that's off. That's on. 10 G's, 12 G's. Oh, the blood's running from my head. Okay, no G's. Oh, shh, thank God, okay. Blackouts going away. The tunnel's opening. Ah, more G's. No G's. All right, so that is uh, how I built a very light, very strong <laughs> fuel tank mounting cage assembly. Um, hope that helps. Later.